I've got my raincoat on. I've got my snow boots. Where are they at? Got my snow boots on. It's not snowing. We're in San Diego. It's not snowing. But it is rainy and cold. It's actually a lot colder up at our house. Did you know we live in the mountains of San Diego? Did you know there was mountains in San Diego? There is, and that's where we live. Anywho, what we're talking about today is grocery shopping. I do monthly grocery shopping. So that means I go and buy an entire month's worth of groceries minus fresh produce. That I buy every week to every other week depending on like the sales and how much time I have, you know. The reason I started doing this is I was finding myself always going to the grocery store. So then I set a goal for myself. Okay, I'm just going to go to the grocery store once a week. And then I still felt like I was going a lot. So then I started going once every two weeks. And then I started going once a month. And it saved me so much time. And what a side effect of it is I realized it was saving me so much money because I'm not doing that impulse shopping. So actually, we're doing a challenge. It's just a one week challenge. It's gonna start on Monday, January. I don't know the date. We're gonna put the date right here on the screen and it's gonna be our resist the trip challenge. So what I have for you is this amazing free um, resource for you. It's called our meal planning cheat sheet bundle. It has so many different resources. You'll see me using them in today's video in my other meal planning videos. It's completely free. If you sign up and you're getting emails from us, then you will be getting emails um, with more information on our resist the trip challenge. There's gonna be daily prizes and a grand prize at the end of the week. And all it is is we're teaching you how to just go to the grocery grocery store once a week and then um but we're going to be going through different recipes um and i'm going to answer all your questions so if you have questions about how we've gotten to this point with monthly grocery shopping let me know or even just weekly grocery shopping only going to the store once a week if you have questions be sure to put them in the comments i'll answer in the comments but we'll go in depth in um in our challenge so make sure you're signed up so you can pause this video go sign up for our resist the trip challenge you'll get your free printable um and once if you get an email from us that just means that you're good to go all right so we're heading into costco um i'm gonna do a pickup order from target and i'll show you that when i get home i'm gonna show you every single thing that we're buying how much it costs and then i'm also going to share with you tips along the way on um kind of the thinking behind buying so many groceries at one time, storing all of these groceries. We live in a very small house with zero pantry space and tips on helping um, fight the, co like combating the rising grocery prices. Let's go to Costco. Okay, here's the situation. I've got my list. Always make sure you have a grocery list. If you don't have a grocery list, you're gonna end up forgetting things. You're gonna end up buying double of things that you already have at home. And you're gonna buy things that you actually don't need probably some produce that's just gonna go to waste. So you need the meal plan and the grocery list to go along with it. I have a free template. You'll get that in the email when you sign up for our challenge. Some other helpful information to help you wrap, to help you understand where I'm coming from with this grocery haul is that I normally go grocery shopping once every four weeks or every five weeks, depending on how my meal plan plays out. So I should have done this grocery shopping trip two weeks ago or two weeks past you. But we just redid our floor, so we had to move out of our house for a week and then move back in. So I would have done my grocery shopping that week before we moved everything out of our house. But I was like, I'm not gonna do monthly grocery shopping right before we move out. It didn't make sense. So we, I didn't do it that week, and then we moved out of our house for a week. It was so stressful, but it's worth it. And I'm so grateful that we were able to do our floors. It's amazing, life just feels a little bit more more in tune now that we are getting our grocery shopping done today so okay here we go into Costco I've got a lot of things to get actually I had a equal size list at Target so half and half. first stop is the home section which section is first at your Costco so now now that we have wood floors in our entire house even the bedrooms we do have rugs I need a mop that's what I'm looking for actually Bailey who's on our one home team she told me about one of those robots that does mopping and sweeping gonna have to save our money for that one but I wanted to let you know this shark vacuum is the one that we have it's the pet one yes this one 
it's amazing. What I love about it is that you can completely clean it off. So you're able to, this part opens up and you can clean that top one. This part opens up, you can clean out that. These almost, I mean, I've never, never, never had my hair clog them up. Our Dyson that we had before that would clog up like once a month and we'd have to cut out like a giant ball of hair. Anyways, vacuums and washes at the same time. What I was gonna ask you is do you have do you have a suggestion on a good mop that's not super expensive because I think eventually I want to get one of these guys. Okay, look at these. $21.99 for a two-pack. Keeps things hot for 12 hours, cold for 24 hours. Has like the spoon thing on the top. Has anyone tried these? Costco usually has really good. We buy the the water bottles that they have here in the summer love 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 them anyways we pack our lunches three days a week for hubby and i and i want to do soups and hot stuff so i'm thinking i'm thinking this is gonna work okay we are doing amazing here so um in the kids room we need some blackout curtains so actually what we need is some like i want to do roman shades but until we save up money for that, we're just gonna do curtains. And look at this amazing deal. Total blackout curtains, two panels. Two panels for $27, that's an amazing price. So we'll see officially how well they do black out, but I'm gonna get um, two creams, but they also have it like in a deep navy blue and then a, a charcoal color. Also, we need new bath mats. So I'm gonna get two of these green colors. They're $15 each which I feel like, I mean, that's a decent price. It's the grippy side on one side. They have this green, blue, and gray color. They also have these reversible bath mats. These are only $12, but I do feel like these aren't quite as absorbent. They have these nicer ones, and even nicer, they call them spa mats, but these will do for now. Okay, we've moved on to the food. So I'm getting this rotisserie chicken. Um, we have our new app, Eat Together Meal Plans, where we do a full month of meal planning. You can use it weekly, bi-weekly, monthly. It's totally customizable. You can move things around, swap things out. Anywho, we add five new recipes every single month, sometimes more. January actually added 10 new recipes. So. Out of a convenience factor, I buy the pre-shredded rotisserie chicken just to make it easy for those days where I'm making like five to 10 recipes in one day. It was about 20 bucks. All right, so we're gonna do this pork tenderloin. I never really know. Sometimes when I buy this, it's like cut into different things. Anyways, it's an amazing price, $2.39 per pound. When I get home, I'll section it into um, portions and then freeze it. Okay, this is actually what I was looking for, but if you pay attention, this is $3.79 per pound for these pork tenderloins. Sometimes you can find these for as low as $1.99 per pound. So even though I'm buying more, this is still less per pound. Look at this, this is new, Kevin's Cowboy Steak Chili. I love Kevin's brand because it's all natural. They have like minimal ingredients. I'm gonna try this, it's only 12.49, so this would be like a really good fast, easy lunch. I'm not sure this would feed our family. Let's see, it says it has three and a half servings, yeah. I don't think it would feed our family on just one, but that would be good for lunches. $7.99 for 24 ounces of feta. Best price anywhere. Okay, are they gonna have the pickles that we love? I'm always looking for the pickles. <gasps> yes, they have them. This is the best. I don't like pickles, but I love these ones. They're Grillo pickles, fresh. I don't know, they're crispy. The flavor's delicious. I love putting these on sandwiches, burgers, dill chips. They're so good. And, okay, $6.29 for this huge thing. That's how much you would pay at a grocery store for half of this. Our um, local grocery store, by where, closer to where we live, sells these in like half sizes or the sandwich thins. Same price for half. Oh, I'm also getting this salsa. That's not it. $7.49, hmm. This price has gone up. So getting the smashed avocado cups, we freeze these, they're $12.99, great for snacks. Okay, I actually came back, $12.49. I think I'm gonna buy, I'm bringing dinner to a meeting tonight, so <laughs> I think I'm just gonna make this, there's just three of us in our meeting, so that'll be good. Two of these for three of us, or should I get three and feed my family two with this? I don't know. $19.49, I 
feel like this price just keeps sneaking up and up and up and up. $18.99 for four count of these Clorox wipes. What we like for these is to keep them in the bathroom. Oh, it's a five count. Keep them in the bathroom um, and it makes it easy, faster for the kids to clean up after themselves. $7.99 for 90 ounces of this plant-based dish soap. I don't see their normal Kirkland brand dish soap, so. We'll give this a try. And we don't need quite as much now that we have a dishwasher. Gallon Ziploc bags, they're on sale for $14.19. We also need more trash bags. So they're 18 bucks for 213 gallon bags. Always get nervous when I don't see the Ecos laundry detergent. It's the only one that doesn't bug hubby's skin. So I have to remember that if I see it next time, I have to get it because I don't see it. We did so much baking this winter. We are almost out of parchment paper. I buy one of these like maybe once a year, $12.99. Also $12.99 for some microwave popcorn. $13.99 for 45 bags of Cheez-It snacks. Look what we have, $13.99. This Amy Lou breakfast sausage is me and hubby's favorite. The kids don't love it because it's very, it's definitely more herby, cleaner ingredients, no sugar added compared to the opposite, but good, good option, better option. I'm gonna buy two of these and freeze them because they don't get them very often at our Costco. Gogurts, we haven't bought those in a while. Talk about a good option, better option, but you know, sometimes you do, let's see, 17 cents per ounce, 10 cents per ounce. Hmm, I mean that's not, you get 24 of those, you get 32 of these. Which one would you choose? Our five dozen eggs are not here. So we're just gonna get two of these then. Limit two, 6.49. Okay, I don't watch them like at all. Unless I hear something, I might try to dig a little bit. But I need these. Why is there an egg shortage? Why? I need chickens. The kids like these um, chicken and cheese taquitos. These are great for um, hot lunches when they're at home. $14.79. I also got some three packs of almond milk. It was $10.99 and I got some butter. Where's the butter? Make sure I got it. Oh, there's the butter. And that was 15 bucks. So about um, for four pounds of butter. $15.59 for shredded mozzarella. Portion these out and freeze them in little sandwich Ziploc bags and it'll last a lot longer. $5.99 for a giant 48 ounces of plain Greek yo yogurt. We use this in baking. We use this as a sour cream substitute. It's awesome. Every once in a while, I'll buy these as a treat for the family. $10.99 for 18 fudge bars. So the other thing that's a little different about this month is that we're gonna be going out of town just for like seven days. Um, and what we're doing is we're going with family so we each take two meals. We're gonna be making a breakfast and a dinner and then everyone else will be making a breakfast and a dinner. Um, I just pack up snacks that we already have at home um, and then I'll buy our cold groceries when we get there. So um, I have all that factored into this grocery haul as well. So I'm making sure that I'm not buying groceries for when we're gone and only buying the minimal amount of groceries that we can buy now before we head up there. 10.49 for a 25 pound bag of flour. We went through 25 pounds of flour and eight pounds of butter last month in December. We just baked a ton and that's kind of what our gift is for friends and family is we make a lot of bread and cookies. 5.39 for black pepper kernels or corns, peppercorns. And then $6.89 for this pink salt. We got the coolest um, salt and pepper grinders for Christmas. And so we put this big salt into it. I'm wondering, yeah. I mean, I know that this works, so I'm gonna get that. $6.89. I do need some new socks. Yes, I was hoping they had the black ones. Cool, so it's on sale $10.49 for 10 pairs. That's an amazing deal. And they have the same deal going on right now for men's socks as well. So I'm gonna get hubby a pair as well. And we're gonna get some sourdough. I'm sorry, if you don't have this where you live, I think it might just be a San Diego thing, but this is really delicious sourdough bread. And it's $4 for this huge loaf. Look at it compared to my hand. It's amazing. So one of the recipes I am testing for this month is a homemade tikka masala. So I looked at buying the sauce and it's pretty expensive. The initial investment on the masala, I think that's what it is, seasoning. Anyways, I've got a lot of tips for you on how to make this affordable, double the batch, freeze it. Anyways, 
So we're gonna serve it with some naan bread. You can freeze this. Do you guys have this at your Costco? You get 18 for $6.49. Um, you can also turn these into like homemade pizzas when you do your pizza bar, that kind of thing. And I usually get rolls for sandwiches, but the family's been liking regular bread a little bit better. So I'm gonna go with this brand, $5.59 for two 20 ounce loaves. And you can freeze this as, oh no, that's pretty thick. Hmm, okay, I think I'm gonna go with this. Dave's Killer Bread, two 24 ounce loaves of their white bread, um, organic white bread. I wonder why they don't have the log cabin syrup anymore. Does anyone know? $7.99 for the buttermilk um, pancake mix. This is awesome because the kids just make it themselves and it's fun for them. We do not make um, like the fat mac and cheese very often, but this is a great deal. $11.99, I like the Annie's brand. It's a little more clean ingredients. It's a better choice, you know, if you're um, looking at the ingredients and things like that. Anyways, it's $5 off, so I'm gonna stock up for the year. Kinder's organic teriyaki sauce. Um, I like this because it has a little bit cleaner ingredients, still has added sugar because a lot, I mean teriyaki sauce, just has sugar in it. But it's a great one, on sale for $4.59. $8.99 for two 28 ounce bottles of Olive Garden Italian dressing, family's favorite. All right, we have got a big haul. I didn't think it was gonna be quite this big. I think maybe I just bought a bunch of giant things, but it is good to stock back up on a few things that we have been out of for a while. Let's head to checkout and I'll tell you how much this all rung up at. Okay, we also need to stock up on some collagen. So it's on sale right now. $7 off, so I'm gonna get two of them. Another thing I saw on my way to check out, I wanna get these. These are great for traveling. We like to have a protein drink in the morning. The kids will even drink these, especially when we're traveling. So I'm gonna get these, 28 bucks. Kind of expensive, but worth the splurge every once in a while. This hasn't happened in a while. Gave me two carts to head out. It's just faster for them to start loading, because I'm still unloading when they're loading. You know, it's fine. Okay, I got it all in. I still have a Target run, but, so I'm gonna pick that up, and then I'll show you what I got at home. But this one came out to, are you ready? 7.26.52. Now here's the thing, I do think, I do think I'm not being quite as careful as I used to be when it comes to like making sure I'm sticking to a really strict grocery list. I've wavered a little bit. So I'm really excited about this challenge because it's gonna help me like bring things in a little bit. But then the other thing is that prices have really gone up, which is such a bummer. Cause then we have to like, you know, figure out other places where we can save in order to buy food for our families. But really, look at how much like extra, um, pre-packaged things, all of that adds up a little bit at a time to make a bigger impact on the bottom line of how much our groceries cost. So the thing is though, with this grocery haul, I did buy a few things that I normally wouldn't have bought in a grocery haul. So like our bathroom mats, the curtains, the socks. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'd say like about 150 of that, I actually would have used a different budget. So I'm just gonna use, bring some money over from our um, house remodel budget and then also our clothing budget to supplement because our Target grocery budget, our, our grocery spending, I think was about $150. So I come out to about 720 total for all of the groceries I bought today. All right, take the carts back, then I'll show you Target's haul. All righty, we are home. Oh, and, yes. and look at our floor, we got new flooring. It's wonderful. Oh. Okay, let's show you what we got from Target. First things first, because I just opened these up, I was excited. I got four of these, and I think it worked out to be about four bucks for the pack, maybe five bucks. I need these because I'm gonna start showing you inside of the app, we have Picky Eater Tip. So if you have a Picky Eater, but you're still wanting to eat a recipe, I show you how to serve it. You're cooking one meal, but serving it in a way that your picky eater will be happy and other people at the table will be happy. So anyways, that's for, it's more of a photo prop, if anything. Okay, so I did get a ton of stuff. Let's see, Kennedy has a few things in her hands that I got. Some cake mixes, Kennedy's gonna make. Cake pops. Cake pops. Um, the other thing that we already unpacked. I put six ice cubes in this. Nice. And it has milk. I got some pretzels, or I got, I got a snack that I thought each of the kids would like, so I know. I love 
Kennedy yes. likes red Pringles. We got those. I found these at Target. I love Mini them. peanut butter filled pretzels. I love them. So I thought of Mav when I saw those. This was kind of a fail, right, Oliver? Mm -hmm. He yes. likes the Nutrigrain cereal bars, breakfast bars. They're filled with sugar. It's a treat. And he didn't like these because why, Oliver? They had chunks of strawberries in them. Yeah. Wait, keep the video right there. Strawberry chunks. So that was kind of a fail. Which is a bummer because these are such a better price than the Nutrigrain. Okay. Moving on. Okay, so I got a few cake mixes so Kennedy can make cake pops. Those are um, $2 each at Target. Then I got some tomato sauce for a recipe. Each of those, I got two of those. That was a dollar. Sesame seeds was about three bucks. Sliced olives, 50 cents. Tomato paste, um, that was like 50 cents. Some Parmesan, that was about um, $2.50. More cake mixes. What's this? Oh, they gave us a little sample. That's fun. I finally got ketchup, Maverick. Yes, Maverick's been wanting ketchup. So I got two of those because I was completely out. The way I like to keep things stocked is I, with toiletries, everything, I have to have at least an open one and a new one. Then when we run out of the open one, I go to my pantry and get the fill, the new one, and then I add it to my grocery list even though I just opened a new one. Oh, my hand's dirty. Ground turmeric, that was $5. Kidney beans, $1. Got some Drano, Target brand Drano, that was about $8. I got three bags of mini marshmallows Yay. to make um, this yummy, chewy caramel popcorn when we're on our trip. It's gonna be so good. Um, those are about a dollar each. I finally got some Band-Aids. I like the flexible I brand. I, I really, I've compared this to other stores and I think that it's the best price at Target. We need some um, new razors, so those are like two bucks. Okay, I also got apple ones. Do you wanna try the apple ones, Oliver? Or take them to Oliver and let's see what he like, what he thinks. Please. Oliver can be our taste tester. Live, on camera, Oliver. Two things of printer that. paper, those are five bucks each. I, did you know you can get pencils pre-sharpened? <laughs> It makes them more expensive, obviously, but I don't know. This just saves my this just saves my sanity in some way. And then I got two of this was about two dollars. I got two zero percent aluminum deodorant. I like this zero percent aluminum because it it doesn't turn your clothes yellow. You know what I'm talking about? I still have yet to find a natural deodorant that works longer than a couple hours for me. So I'm on the hunt for that because that would be the best option, but I just am not there yet. I stocked back up on Tresemme because um, we were down. And again, so I got two of these and they were about four bucks each um, because if you bought three, you got a $5 Target gift card. So I stocked up on those. And then I also got some glass cleaner which we desperately need. Costco stopped selling their like similar brand of this. This was um, like less than $2, but why did they stop selling it? Because I loved it. I got some whipped cream. Be um, this was a dollar. What did I get this for? It was for a recipe. I don't know. I needed Can it for I a recipe. It? And because this, oh yeah. I'm making German pancakes for the app, Kennedy. Oh yay. Yeah, so um, we're recipe testing and Mm, so we're gonna have a special whipped cream on it, okay. but I did get two of them because I get one. You can freeze them, and it's just good to have whipped cream on hand. You know what I mean? Oh, look at here's another treat I got. What are they? Graham crackers, but they're fresh packs. So there's little packs of graham crackers, so you can just throw one in your lunch instead of having to like pack them. Oh. We do what we can to help enable our kids to um, do things on their own. Yes. He can put some in a Ziploc bag. Mm. But sometimes, you know, sometimes you just wanna make things as easy as you can. Okay, I stocked back up on um, Head & Shoulders because again, it was buy three, get a $5 gift card. So um, I got three of those and those are about four bucks each. I got ca Kalamata olives, pitted Kalamata olives at Target this time. This was $4. If you get the giant thing at Costco, it's $8. It's by far a better price at Costco, but I never end up using more than half of the container. So it's actually, if you like, if you break it down per ounce of what we're actually using with how much we paid for it, it's the same price, but I'm just not wasting food this way. 
Does that make sense? Um, and then I got a giant thing of ranch, two of these for three bucks each. And kids toothpaste. I got two of these and those are about three bucks each as well. All right, I think that's all of our Target wow. haul. Okay, so. Don't forget, we are doing the resist the trip challenge. You're gonna learn how to stick to just sh grocery shopping once a week. I've got some really good secrets. It's gonna save you a ton of time. This really is the key to being able to stick to your budget, save money, and save you a ton of time. Think about how many times you go to the grocery store. Even if you do grocery pickup, it's still time that you're driving there, waiting, driving back. So you're gonna love it. So sign up for our free um, meal planner cheat sheet bundle and that'll get you on our email list. And then if you're on our email list, you'll get all the information for the challenge that's gonna start on Monday, January. We're gonna put the date on here. And then um, you might also wanna follow me on Instagram because that's where I can do daily updates. We are going to challenge. start putting um, up more YouTube shorts. It's hard because I know a lot of people like the long format um, we're gonna keep our monthly grocery hauls, but we're gonna try this out. We're gonna try out the shorts because the numbers don't lie and the numbers say that you guys like getting quick information that you can implement right away rather than having to sit through a 10 minute long video. You'll get it in like a minute. So I think you're gonna really like them. We have a lot of fun things in store for you. Just What's the challenge? The challenge is the resist the trip challenge. And we're gonna teach people how to only go to the grocery store once a week. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna save them money. Tell them to sign up. Sign up! Okay, so that is our grocery haul. I hope you learned something. I had fun hanging out with you. Don't forget to leave your comments down um, below so we can chat. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye! Bye.